I grew up in Freeport, Illinois, which is about 120 miles west of Chicago. Um, I was a Y brat. Started in the Y when I was seven years old and never paid a lot of attention to where those role models that I had came from um, until I got into junior high and high school. And at that point, uh, Freeport YMCA had hired a fellow who graduated from George Williams uh, in the late 60s and came out of actually Grand Rapids, Michigan growing up. And he was, he was just something special as a role model. And it wasn't that, uh, it wasn't the skills in terms of camping or, or, or youth activities in the youth department and those kind of things, but there was a persona about knowing what you were doing and a confidence about what you were doing. And somehow through the summer camp program, he got me interested in at least visiting George Williams College in Hyde Park. And from that, I had the benefit of attending the very last uh, weekend, extended weekend that the school had. It was called a, uh, a weekend for future youth leaders. And people came from all over the, uh, the, the Midwest. I have classmates and friends to this very day from 1964 when that event was to, uh, that I still stay in contact with. It came from St. Louis and came from Cleveland and, and came from Detroit. Um, but we came into Hyde Park and that was, a, that was a learning experience unto itself because a small town rural Illinois kid doesn't know anything about what 53rd and Drexel in Chicago is like. And when you get off the Illinois Central Railroad and take the uh, CTA down and then get off and walk to 53rd and Drexel, it's an experience. But I met people who are today just real models uh, for the school, distinguished alumni of the school, Norris Einweaver, who retired out of the Indianapolis YMCA and, and the international movement, and uh, just a lot of other people. Reuben Davis, who was in Miami, just passed away. And uh, lots of folks that just were meaningful. We spent about a half day in Hyde Park, had a quick tour of the Downers Grove excavation project, because everything was dusty and buildings were being put in. And then we came up to Lake Geneva, and you just fall in love with Lake Geneva. But we were here, and this is where those sessions on what the school is about in terms of health, physical education, and group work, and, and so on, were talked about. And there were campfires, and there were, were interpretations, and you didn't really pay a lot of attention, but there were also interviews going on. And so then we bust back to Hyde Park and spent Saturday and, and Saturday night and most of Sunday at Hyde Park. And before I left, uh, the Hyde Park campus, a gentleman by the name of Bob Moore had indicated that I was accepted into George Williams upon graduation from high school a year later. Made the senior year in high school really interesting, but I had a chance to go back and, and tell Art Brown, who was the uh, Y director who was a graduate of George Williams, that I was following that path. And for a while it was to be like him. But once you get on campus, you suddenly realize what you have to learn. And you can have some skills in terms of games and, and activities for, for kids and adults and interacting. But when you learn how these processes work and you get exposed uh, to field work that's in the inner city and not in a, a suburban or a rural community, your eyes get open real quick and you grow up real quick. And it, it, it really gives you a chance and the, uh, the opportunity to really change where you're coming from. My greatest wish for the college is that everyone who graduated could have the same level of knowledge that I've learned by getting involved with both the Alumni Association and reading the mailings and being on campus both at Lake Geneva and, Downers, or in, and Aurora. Um, there's a vitality going on here. People think that George Williams closed. George Williams simply recessed and through the efforts of a few very dedicated people kept its ability to grant degrees, found a home that respected its assets and its endowment and its history and still honors the restrictions of donors and endowments and, and so on, but it's alive and well here.